Our hero patron, what does that mean to you? Ian? Uh, it's it's pretty prevalent to me. It's uh, it's a big honour, you know, having having you know known the guys that have set it up for for a number of years now, uh, and being talked through exactly you know what you do and how you how you help in servicemen, then uh, you know it's, it's a sort of strikes a chord me and something that I really wanted to get involved with right from the start. And um, so obviously been involved in a number of fundraisers. Where, where do you see this going in terms of the? What, what you'd like to do with the charity? Well, I just want to be involved in any way I can. You know, the fundraiser started, and it's just you know it's gaining profile every, every time, and it's just it's just really exciting to be from be with it from the start, uh, and sort of see see the organisation grow, and and exactly getting the stories coming back of how you're helping people and and how people are sort of benefiting from from what you're doing. So you know, it does give me great good sort of great deal of satisfaction just just seeing that and, and knowing that I sort of had a hand in and you know and helped out in you know in a small way compared to compared to you know the organizers but uh, you know again having having a helping hand in it. So talk me through how did you come into contact with Harry here how did it all start? Well playing in a charity rugby game up in Hereford uh, last year and literally it was just a, uh, a fleeting conversation with with Jerry Hill as I was leaving and uh, you know, said I'd like to get involved, and I'm doing things like that. And you know, within within a week, I had, uh, I had his people on the phone to me and, and organising a 3,000 mile uh, or 6,000 mile round trip across to the highest mountain in Europe and uh, and risking my life up, up on Mount Albra. So from a five minute conversation, it sort of really really escalated quickly, and and it sort of grew very fast from there. What did you make of it? What did you get out of it personally? And, uh the charity it was fantastic because it gave me a chance to work with you know a lot of serving and so ex sort of army personnel as well or service personnel rather not just army uh, uh, in, a, in a close knit environment uh, you know and a bit of adversity as well you know it was a it was a tough trip and you know just seeing how you know how we had to adapt along the way just just to make it work it, it wasn't an easy it wasn't an easy structured thing that sort of everything went to plan things had to change uh, and you know things had to adapt and evolve as the trip went on and uh, you know it, it was it was fantastic to be fair and it was it was a great start and a great sort of opening you know publicity style and profile um, expedition to sort of start the charity off uh, what's next in terms of uh, expeditions Kilimanjaro Everest I put my hand up to whatever, so you know wh whatever's going. You know I, I've got a bit of a, a streak in me that, that enjoys doing things like that, and you know as you, as you see in you know people are, are being a bit groundbreaking out watching the sport relief uh, efforts. You know over the last couple of weeks, you know you know, people are having to do more and more and more extreme things, and, you know to sort of raise awareness. So you know whatever whatever's out there and whatever's sort of suggested, then uh, you know I'll sort of sit down and get around the table and. If it's doable and I, and I can do it, then uh, you know I put my hand up. It's clear you have a certain affinity to the forces, and, and wh why do you think that? Do you see a lot of similarities between yourself and, and the career of a sports person? Uh, you know, well, looking back and you know being at the sort of latter stages of my career now, and uh, and I've been doing it about 18 years now professionally. So knowing you know there's a trans, you have to transition across. Um, you know, we're not we're not footballers. We're not on. We're not on mega bucks and stuff. You have to transition to, to a different environment, a different working environment afterwards. And you know, I, I'm in the same process, so I can really, really see sort of uh, you know what people are going through and, and how daunting it could be as well. You know, it's a complete, complete different set of rules as such. Uh, although you know the, the skills that, uh, that the military guys are, are sort of learning or and sort of and providing across their career do transfer in, into other businesses and other workplaces and finding it myself with rugby as well. You know, stuff that we are doing does transfer. Across Cross, but until you realise that, then it's uh, you know it's a pretty daunting prospect. Mm. Talk about the gorillas. Obviously, you're well aware of the gorillas. Uh, how much uh, would you like to get involved there with, with them in terms of turning out for the Harry Hero gorillas? That'd be quite something for the charity. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that, that was my first involvement actually. With uh, you know, this is how it all started back in 2006, where um, playing for the Pilgrims and, and sort of being introduced to that side of thing with uh, with a few charity matches, military-based charity matches. So uh, you know, the Gorillas is fa fantastic, and uh, you know, whenever if I can, you know, if I've got a week off or I've got time off and I'm able to sort of lend support in any way and even maybe lace my boots up, who knows? If uh, you know, to have a trot around and you know, see if uh, you know, see if I can strut myself around there and, and have some fun there, then I'll be it. But uh, you know, it's great. The, you know, the fixture list is growing and uh, their reputation is growing as well, and it's you know, it's a, it's a fantastic effort from those guys that sort of give up their free time and you know, go across to these events and sort of promote promote the uh, charity. And what's your first uh, engagement as a as a higher hero patron? 
Our first engagement is on the, the 27th of April at Speech House in the Forest of Dean. Uh, there's, there's a big event going there, so I'd urge everyone to come along and support. And uh, you know, I'll be there. We're opening up the uh, the festival uh, at Speech House, uh, and it's very exciting. It's, it's a sort of first sort of publicised event of the. Um, of many that are going to happen in the year, so actually very excited to go across uh, and really start launching launching the charity. Well, how much does it mean? You're a sort of Cumbrian boy, born and bred. How much does it mean to be affiliated with a charity that's so close to sort of your roots? I know it's fantastic. I was brought up around here. My brother lives within within a few miles of this, uh, the head office here, and uh, you know Gwen, you know, always, always have a special place in my heart, and you know, say is it. All my family still live here, and I've lived lived here for many years before before I moved away with work. So, um, yeah, being you know with it being based here is even more prevalent to me as well. That it's it's sort of it's sort of really entwined it within my roots around the place and the, the Gwent Valleys. You know, it's, it's it's a great place with great people as well. What message do you have to supporters or people thinking about getting involved with, with, with what you do? What's the sort of call to call to arms, so to speak? I just say just just have a look at what we do. Just really, really sort of look at the website, look at the events, turn up at the events, support us in any way you can. You know, you know whether it whether it's putting your hand in your pocket to help, or you know, it's just your support and just you know putting people in contact. And you know, there's there's lots of ways. You know, if you see the websites up and running, and you know the list of events are there. There's some fantastic events. Just just actually take take a little bit of time, have a look at what we do and see you know, see how it's helping people and how it's helping people that have helped you. You know, the, these these people in the services, these guys and girls in the services that have, you know, what they've done for this country and, and for us is phenomenal and you know it's it's a very small thing to ask just to take a little bit of time and see if there's any way that, you know, in any shape or form that, that they can be helped.